I'm Kevin Roberts, author of Cyber Junkie and Movers, Dreamers, and Risk Takers. I'm here today with psychotherapist Drew Yankee, and we work with a lot of groups, a lot of parents, and a lot of kids. And one of the things that we've found over the years is that people really don't listen to each other. So, what did you say? <laughs> right. See, exactly. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, so what we've devised a number of activities that we use to help people listen. And we really think it's important to teach listening skills from a very young age. So this is a segment on icebreakers for active listening. Um, first, so we believe that a group steeped in active listening is one that uh, has a higher level of group participation fewer disruptions, and simply people become more capable of effective communication. So to begin this process at the beginning of a class or seminar or group dynamic, split participants into groups of two with the instructor participating if you do not have an even number. Someone can be A and the other person can be B. You will give A 20 seconds to provide the following information to B. Favorite food, favorite animal, favorite color. B, the listening partner, will be instructed to listen carefully so that he or she can recall that information and tell it to the whole class. And why do we, why do, we do that, Drew? What do we tell them that the importance of that well, is? Well, the importance of that is that um, as you look at it, if you know something about somebody else, if you know their name, their favorite color, their, you begin to have a friendship with them. And so it's less likely that you'll interrupt them during, the, during conversations. But also knowing somebody helps that other person realize that they're valued. And when you're in a group setting, value is very important because then people want to participate, they want to listen to each other, and they walk away with a great experience. Yeah, and you know, you, you can do this formally if you're, if you're a teacher. Mm -hmm. um, you can make a list of all the students' names, and then you can make three columns. Favorite food, favorite animal, favorite color. So then after everybody's gone, you hand out those quiz right. sheets to all the kids and you have them list stuff for everybody. And you can begin to um, have discussions around that. And uh, one of the things that you can do as an alternative is before you give the quiz out, you can have each person uh, who, who engage in that dynamic to uh, say what his or her partner's favorite things were, and there, then you're getting group uh, dialogue going, group conversation. Well, something too that we also do when we have the when we have uh, we run when, when we run our camps, um, we do a fast version where as we're going around the circle and people are introducing themselves, we have people auto, you know start to begin the listening process right away by saying, okay, what school did he go to? What grade is he going into right away? So people can get engaged very quickly because you know. Little, little boys sometimes forget things very fast, mm -hmm. and so what we want to do is engage them very quickly. So, there are a variety of activities you can do. You can take the suggestions we've had. You can certainly go on the internet, but we believe it's important to help young people especially become better listeners. I'm Kevin Roberts. I'm Drew Yankee. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching.